importing, exporting, and backing up your tracks from the BR600. Uh, for this first uh, video, we're going to go through the steps of importing a MP3 file, like a backing track, into the BR600. The BR600 will not play MP3 files, they only play a WAV file, so you have to convert the MP3 file to a WAV file. Uh, for that I use the free audio software Audacity. I already got that here, and I've already got a track that I've downloaded. It'll take any time from the FTP. We're going to use the uh, winter walking track. So you double click on um, the software to open it up. Uh, you also, first you must have the lame MP3 converter already on your computer. Uh, you can also download that if you download the um, Audacity um, recording software from their site. They also have a link for the uh, the lame MP3 converter because you have to convert that. So you have Audacity up. Hope you can see this here. And you're going to click on File. And I'm going to click on Open. And it asks you, you know, it'll prompt you a file to open. So here we're going to click on the walk, Winter Walk back and you see that then click on open and it says importing the mp3 file and that is importing so this is on my really slow IBM ThinkPad 400 uh, no, uh, 600 to 400 uh, hertz, so it takes a little bit while, a little bit faster on the other one. So now you see the imported MP3 file in, in waveform. Uh, you can hear it. Okay, we're just going to stop that now. So what we want to do now is we have to convert this MP3 file to WAV file. And if you have the um, the MP3 converter already. Uh, you know, in your computer, then you would go to File, and you want to export as Wave. And so I've got to save on my desktop. What I usually do too, because sometimes there's a uh, limit on the amount of letters you can have for for backing track file name. I'll shorten the file name for the backing track, like I'm doing here now. like that and then I'll just go ahead and save it and it says exploiting the Empire project as a WAV file And once it's done that, just go back to file, or just close it out. You know, hit the little X at the top there and close it. And ask you want to save the changes? Uh, no. If you do have any changes for it, it saves it as a Audacity file, process file. But for this thing, we don't want to save any changes. We'll click No. And that will take us back to the desktop. And then we'll, you see here, we have the winter walk file. And what I like to do is, uh, I just I just right click and I copy the file and leave it there. Now coming down to the BR six hundred, um, we have to go to utilities. So I already have a song here loaded. Uh, you want to go to utility? You know, press the utility button, and you want to scroll over and create a new song. Press the enter button. You always got to press the enter button, and it says song new. And song new, are you sure? Press the enter button again. Keep power on. Song creating. So now we have a new song. We have a so you can track one. It's already armed. So what you want to now do now is connect your laptop or computer to um, to the BR600. So what I have here is this is a uh, USB card with a mini uh, AB card 
uh, AB uh, cable. And it goes back, went into the USB port on the BR600. And here I've got a, um, uh, I'll plug it right into my laptop here. So now I've got the connecting cord and to the BR600. So now we want to import this wave track into the BR600. And you go back and you have to press utility. And the utility menu comes up. And you're going to use the right cursor button and scroll over to USB. And you want to hit enter to get you into USB mode. So now you have three different options here in the uh, USB mode. You have backup, import, I'm using the time value knob to change that, import, and export. So what we want to do, we want to import this file then. So you can see the, every time you see little, little, this little arrow, square arrow, this, this is the enter. So that means you want to press the enter button to select that. and and it says import so it always defaults to track one so what I like to do I like to use track five six this is already a paired stereo track so you don't have to worry you can just uh, you know you can import that in and just use one fader to con to um, um, control the volume of that and using the time value knob again I'm gonna turn this Shall I get to, it goes through the pair, the other pair of tracks to track five and six. This is just me. I, you know, I know where, I always, I always use five and six because the other, the other ones are mono, you know, mono tracks. So I know I've got a stereo um, input for that. So then once you do that, you have to press the enter button again, press enter. And this is the song menu. You have to press the enter button the enter button twice because it's just this is the song SO1 is the song list and that number one song in there and you press enter again and USB import now connecting so you just heard my laptop just pinged knowing that it, it the um, uh, it connected to the laptop um, if it doesn't automatically show what you do is you go down and press the start button go to my computer and you'll see the BR600 as an icon right here you double click on that you have the Roland the main Roland folder you double click on that and you see four of the folders here up oh, it just did automatically and it's closed that out and this is the main folder that you want to deal with right here. It's the USB folder. Right now I'm going to stop and restart for the next part of the, uh, the video.